The Colorado River, called the hardest working river in the United States, is in danger. This is due to two causes, reductions in precipitation and increased air temperatures. The river provides hydropower to seven states, irrigation to more than five million acres of farmland, drinking water to 40 million Americans, and of course, the breathtaking whitewater rapids running through the Grand Canyon. All of it threatened by more than two decades in a mega drought. We can't just flip a switch like Colonel Joe Moore in Mad Max Fury Road. But we do have a superpower. Straight out of science fiction's X-Men The Last Stand. It's called weather modification or cloud seeding. We can't create the cloud. It has to be an existing storm system. We just give it a bump. Yeah. Garrett Kamins heads up one of the largest cloud seeding companies in the U.S. Has the desperation in the mega drought made the interest in cloud seeding skyrocket? Oh, definitely. There are currently 42 cloud seeding projects across the American West, like this one in Utah, where they take planes like this with flares attached. They fly right into the storm and send microscopic particles into the cloud. Particles that act like magnets for water droplets, bonding together until they are heavy enough to fall to the ground as rain or snow. At the University of Colorado, researchers are working on artificial intelligence to deploy cloud seeding drones. And it's not just cloud seeding from the sky. There are hundreds of those things. That shack you see in the foreground is a ground-based cloud seeder. The little flame coming out is sending tiny silver iodide particles up into the sky. When a storm comes through, they go up to 2,000 feet above our head, into the storm, up those mountains, and make more snow than it naturally would. While well, cloud seeding has been helping get every last drop out of some of the driest years on record, this past winter, Mother Nature came through. The Southern Rockies, which feed the Colorado River, got more than four times their average snow. But experts say it's still not enough. As much as cloud seeding is a boost or a help, it's not a solution. The main solution is conservation. Cloud seeding is most successful in wet years, so this was a huge winter for them. They actually stopped early because Mother Nature was given up so much. Now, studies have shown that the environmental impacts from the silver iodide on the current scale, there are no impacts uh, to snow or rain also downstream, so it doesn't impact, you know, the other weather. They do anticipate at least 200 more ground cloud seeders in the future, and the federal government has committed $2.6 million to seeding. Back to you, Gio and Eva. Oh, Ginger Z, thank you so much. ABC News Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z. Just amazing when you look at the technology, obviously, mm -hmm. of cloud seeding, but also the idea that the Colorado River, we're talking about feeding seven states with that power. Yes, and it gives us so much of our food. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important. Incredible, incredible.